Hello people, and welcome back to part 29 of Ilos, our modded City Skylines build. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Thanks so much indeed for all the support last week uh, during our downtown university construction. Uh, what a wonderful little facility it turned into, right? Really happy with it, and especially kind of a rotunda car park that we have around the School of Tourism and Travel. Just uh, an enormous lover of this, and of course all of our uh, Art Deco houses. It came in really nicely, alongside everything else that we threw into this build. Thank you so much for all support. If you'd like to come and check out this new area on the west side of the downtown, uh, please do come and watch last week's episode. However, today we are heading south for the first time. Well, not for the first time, south out of the downtown at least anyway. Uh, to work on yet another kind of Margrid frame, but this time we're going to be using uh, some new assets of the workshop, including the LA River Network, uh, which you would have seen in today's opening sequence. Very cool kind of southwestern American vibe. And we're going to be building the rough... Uh, part of Ilos today, kind of the very the nasty suburb that no one wants to go to, no one wants to be here. It's very sort of run down and a little bit nasty. But before we do this, we need to head uh, indeed to LA and then back to Phoenix in Google Earth. So I'll see you over there. Okay, everyone, and welcome for the first time to Los Angeles. And um, this isn't the main source of inspiration for Ilos, of course, uh, but it's still within the general south slash west slash southwestern region, so it can still apply to our inspiration here. So because of the assets that we're playing with today, it's important that we see kind of how they flow in the suburb and how they look, how they start, and indeed how they end. And there is this one here in Los Angeles called Bologna Creek, uh, which is very much one of these sort of old dried LA river networks, okay? And we can see how it starts. It simply it leaves the ground, okay? It flows underground, okay, under a bridge. So we can certainly take inspiration from this for our new canal network today. And then indeed, checking how this network ends, we can follow it right the way through the city, uh, back out into the coast where it does indeed just sort of flow uh, into the Pacific. But of course we don't have an ocean in Ilos, so we'll have to do something a little bit different with this. So we can definitely take inspiration from these sort of old dried out river networks uh, in and around the southwest of America. And now we will fly back over to our wonderful hometown of Phoenix, where we are back in the Margrid. So, Phoenix does have one of these, and um, this is the Grand Canal, I believe it's called, yes there it is, this is the Grand Canal. So this is very much sort of a uh, similar sort of vibe, okay, we'll see if we can get a street view of this here so we can get an impression of it. But Phoenix's is quite narrow, and indeed actually has a lot more water in it than the LA one does. Um, I also think LA serves as like floodways, if that's correct, I'm sure someone uh, from or has been to LA can confirm that. But this is a little too tame for what I like, okay, but we can definitely get on board with the layout and the design that we see in Phoenix, so this is something to bear in mind for today's build as well. So another vibe that we need to respect today is also the road that is heading out uh, south, or in, in Phoenix it's north, but Ilos it's south, it's kind of reversed around, but you know what I'm talking about. The big main road that leaves the downtown, the one with the trams on it, and we have our, our Japanese garden of friendship over here, okay, or Japanese friendship garden, whatever it's called. And then this is Main Street, okay? So this is a real big, important road, uh, indeed with tall buildings on it, all right? So if we head into kind of the Glendale Mark grid, uh, so we can see the perspective with the downtown in as well, you know, it's not, it has skyscrapers on it. You know, downtown isn't the only place with high rises. We do have some significant pops of height along Main Street as it goes out of the city. So because we're building in this area today, we do need to include uh, some pops of height and then this is sort of the suburban design we're going to be working with, the right kind of a rougher and not quite as desirable area to live uh, in the city. Always a fun theme to put together. So we're taking inspiration today from two parts of Phoenix and one from Los Angeles. Let's build Alice's rough and ready neighbourhood, shall we? Okay, so as we get started today, I'd like to uh, copy and paste the American Condos towers out of our skyline. And I'm going to include this on Main Street. And now we could, of course, just go onto the workshop and download some more skyscraper assets. But I'm kind of being too cheeky with assets now, right? We're getting too many. <laughs> so I'm just going to reuse an asset that's in the skyline, but an asset that we can't see uh, from this perspective. Okay, so that can be something that you can use, you know, if you want to kind of save a little bit on RAM, you know, grab an asset that's on the other side of the skyline and we can't see it from here. So this will be kind of one of the many pops of height that we see over this point, okay? So if we put the mar grid uh, before us, then we can see that, you know, we're starting to get these little pops of height now. And that's something we want to bring across this kind of lateral line uh, south out of the downtown, okay? So that's going to be quite fun. We'll leave that in there for right now. 
Now we will time lapse up a road network expansion in a second, but what I'd really like to start with uh, is the inclusion of the new LA River Network Pack. I will leave this entire collection uh, linked down below on the Steam Workshop, but it essentially functions um, as canals, okay? So let's come ahead and find something that we can upgrade. So there's different sizes of them, and then there's kind of five variations of each size. Uh, you can filter these out, so say for example we only want the 96 meter versions coming in, and we can type in 96 within find it, and then just get the, uh, well, six variations of this one here, okay? Cool. So let's grab our standard one, and we'll just draw these out so you can see what they look like. They're a little bit underwhelming, just on their own. Okay, they need detailing, and indeed they need something around them to make them fit. But we already have a canal network in here, uh, courtesy of the uh, beautiful Eggsy and Karina, uh, who made this map for us. And I think what I want to do is actually upgrade the entire uh, vanilla canal network uh, into these LA River networks, okay? It really works, doesn't it? It's super nice. Now, because these are wider, they're not going to hold as much water as uh, the vanilla ones, which is absolutely fine. So this is what the network looks like once it's drawn in, okay? It's a little bit rough and ready at the minute, and you'll notice that we're getting the clipping uh, against the highway where the bridge comes in, which, of course, looks ridiculous. However, we can then use the bridge variant of the canal network, which does exactly that, okay? It allows a bridge to flow over it, and then we can just use move it now to grab these nodes, and then whilst holding alt, we can just slide them back in. So the little lips just hug the highway. So it's really cute that there's preset networks like that to kind of hold it in, so we can definitely get on board with that. And then what we're gonna do here is come down into the water again, kind of like we saw in LA, right? But of course, this is all a little bit janky at the minute, so we're gonna to have to fix this. Let's remove uh, the vanilla canals, and I'm also going to grab a touch of Karina's detailing. I don't want to delete it. I don't know how much time she spent doing it, so we'll leave that there. Okay, so this is our canal. Let's also give ourselves a little bit more breathing room. So when we emerge into a body of water with these LA River networks, we need to do something a little bit specific. Uh, we are going to start with a base, of course. So let's go for road guideline snap as well, so we're in line with the canal. So I'm going to do uh, 10 units of base, okay? So these are really super shallow looking ones, right? These are for transitioning uh, into the area. Then, once I've done that, we want to grab the transition network, and then again, we're gonna uh, snap this on here, and we're gonna come out by a distance of 10 units on 180 degree snap, that's gonna be fine. And then once you've got a base and then a transition, you can then move back into uh, the standard uh, network once it manages to find uh, its snap point. Again, it can be a little bit finicky, but there you go. Okay, so that's going to give you a really smooth transition from the bottom of the river network down into the body of water that it's actually connected into. Of course, this could be an ocean for you. It could be a larger lake. And then with uh, Move It, we just want to lower down uh, a few of the nodes so the water can come through. And then there we go. We now have a brand new kind of LA style a river network that's going to flow through uh, this part of the city and of course into Lake Havasu eventually uh, or Havasu, however you pronounce it uh, over here, you know, this will hold sort of more water and then we can do some fun things with that Okay, so of course this is going to flood like an absolute monster whilst the uh, water from the vanilla canals resettles into its new place and whilst that's happening we're going to head uh, back over to this side So now I want to find uh, one of the smaller ones. Let's go for the 32 variant and this is where we can start doing some more inner city vibes. So, of course, trying to respect Main Street, I want to make sure that we do have enough breathing room between Canal and all the skyscrapers that are going to eventually sit here. So, I want to bring this... Let's go for perhaps 15 units off of the road. I think that should be pretty sensible. So, we'll start snapping this in. So, let's just draw in a nice big stretch of uh, standard, okay? Okay, so we've got a nice big stretch of just regular standard 32 meter river network here. Which it looks a little bit bland, doesn't it? Okay, you know, it's cool. It's got some sort of little grooves on it, indentations for the water to flow through. It's at this point now where we can come in with detail variants 1 and 2 and add in these little details into the side of the canal. So this is, oh, there we go. This is detail number 1 and then perhaps another section down we can do uh, detail number 2. However, these are facing the wrong way. Uh, for the direction of water flow, so we can just delete that section. 
and then redraw it in on the opposite orientation uh, so the angle of the detail switches around allowing my water uh, to come out of these so really cool right really cool and then what we'll do we'll move down into the 16 meter variant as we come uh, on and off of this canal network so we'll maybe find a point how about here we'll bring out a 16 meter standard and then this can run directly through the sort of less desirable a slightly more rough suburb and again there's other variations of this now we can upgrade sections of this into detail number one and alongside you've also got your bridge uh, transition and base pieces as well which of course uh, can all be uh, brought into position exactly like we did over by the lake so it can take a little bit of getting used to these they do sometimes not behave themselves but just really tremendous assets and there's a ton like an absolute ton of um, decals that come with them, um, including some paint as well. Well, not paint, uh, sort of graffiti, right? You know, you can get in some like Santa Monica sort of things, or some like Compton, City of Angels, or quite specific to Los Angeles, of course. But we can certainly get involved. And then there's these kind of like larger, sort of dirtier puddles on them. And we can use some of our big stain decals uh, that we've used in Islas before. Um, to sort of scuff up the concrete a little bit so it's not quite so smooth. And then we can bring in lots of little varying detail patterns along the canal now, right? Which is so much more interesting than just the regular mass transit canals. Or oh, these are the base game canals, I can't remember which DLC they came with. Just much better than the uh, vanilla canals, right? You will also notice where the networks join, you will get tearing. So it's not advisable to mix and match them. You, you, I guess you can, but it looks weird, right? You wouldn't just have it one or the other, don't mix and match. Okay, so you get the general impression of that, okay, as to detailing how this looks. Let's then head over to one of these little detail spots now. And uh, we're going to search our criteria, or clear it rather. And then what I'm looking for uh, is the water drain pipe over here, okay. So this is ploppable water and sewage. And uh, it's just a simple little drain pipe, okay. Nothing overly fancy about it. Uh, I'm going to place two of these in together. And of course we're playing with... Um, the no water pipes mod so we just need to connect them in with a single pipe and then what we want to do is I'm actually going to finagle these a little bit closer together that's something about there okay so these are just simple sewage demand assets and um, it's essentially the water pipe that's actually on this one and um, it's the vanilla one but without the big box on the back of it so then we're going to sink it down and then we're going to move them and ever so slightly again move it can be Difficult old beast when it wants to be, so we'll just go ahead and grab buildings. There we go, that's what we want to do. And then we're just going to fuse them into the side of the lot. I'm going to give them a very temporary power connection, because they do need power. They are water sewage assets. And then we'll see here, as the game reads, that they are actually uh, hooked in with pipes. They will start to actually dump out what is sewage. You know, this is a enormous health hazard, you would imagine. Okay, it looks like we're getting a little bit of... Uh, tear in here. I think we can uh, help avoid this with uh, a couple of elevations to move it. That should clear up in a second anyway. We'll find out together. Okay, but there you go. As the water now flows into the network, uh, we are left with this. How oh, nice, right? <laughs> How amazing is this? Uh, it just flows down and it will continue to flow within your network. And um, there's also more room here for more water pipes. And um, so alongside the sewage build that we did last time out, we can now just see uh, what a wonderful little impact this is going to make. Okay, but that's very much a spy sample of the LA River Networks, isn't it? Really quite fun, super unique little areas. And uh, you can see here, a node controller uh, also works with these. We can do some really fun things. Um, just kind of stretch everyone out, give the water a little more breathing room as it meets at the junction. Uh, it was really cool, just such a huge lover of these. Uh, just massive for ILO, so it's going to be so much fun detailing with all this. And uh, yeah, there's more space here for pipes if need be. So what we'll do now is I'm going to feed this canal network uh, into this one uh, over this side. And then I'm also going to bring off any dead existing mile grid frames that are ready to be expanded over the highway now, such as this one. Uh, this can now come over in a bridge uh, and then hook in with Main Street over here. And then we can start looking at poisoning some assets and detailing up. Uh, the slightly less desirable, more rough part of Ilos. So let's time lapse it up and then we'll be right back.
Okay guys, so we have drawn out some suburban road frames uh, connected in an arterial system uh, from the mar grid. This does need a little bit of network mortar tool on it just to slope it out. And tidy up some inconsistencies here, which is all made for our detail and talents, of course. Uh, however, what I would like to do uh, is just have a little look at the river network now. So of course, this little mound of water on the side won't be here. This will be fixed, but we'll just sort of bear with it for the time being. But we can see these little river networks in action now, okay? And I realise the... This is actually raw sewage, okay? This is the game is reading this as sewage, but for us it's just kind of dirty inner city water, perhaps a floodway. And, uh, you know, it's meeting down with uh, the larger canals over here now as well. And th this is actually fresh water, so it's fresh water meeting with sewage, which I realise is like cholera's wet dream, if you'll excuse the pun. But, you know, it's fine. It's there for aesthetics. Just ignore the fact that it is actually sewage. So what I'd like to talk about now is how we can end this in the city because of course we had a look at LA uh, where we saw that the uh, river network there uh, simply just goes underground, right? It obviously connects into some kind of underground sewer network or flood system uh, in LA. So I think we can do something similar in Ilos. Let's talk about this. So we have this slightly embanked arterial system that comes out of the Mar grid, all right? So what I'd like to do is upgrade a section of it, perhaps this one here, and then we'll force uh, this one uh, back down to ground if we can. Yeah, so that's going to be fine for me. Let's then grab a new section of the standard 32 meter. Also realized I was playing the first half of this episode with node snapping off, which made it an absolute ball ache to draw these in. So make sure you don't do that. <laughs> it makes it significantly harder. Okay, so I'm just going to draw this up here, and then we're going to drag it under the road as close as we can until we can basically accept that there's no dimensional tear in here. There we go. So now it looks like it just comes out of the underground, right? Okay, it goes into an underground system. And then what I want to do here is actually use uh, one of our retaining wall assets that we haven't used for a long time now. This is a standard uh, concrete retaining wall network, so it is going to use up a couple of nodes. But that's okay. We don't have to worry about that today, for the most part at least. That's future eggs problem when the node count runs out. So we're going to grab uh, the node here. We're going to set it to the same height as the road. And then just finagle this node with a little bit of control and move it uh, right up against the edge of the road. Uh, sort of bridge here if you like, okay? Once it's in position, we can use that up and down buttons to slide it about. Probably to about there is going to be good for me. And what's that going to do is just create us a little retaining wall on one side of the bridge on this side of the suburb. And then we can pretend that at this point, the Ilos River Network uh, sort of flows underground into some kind of maintenance system or, you know, whatever it is that's actually under there in LA. Of course, I have no idea. But you can get on board with the thesis, right? It's okay. And our road network frames, again, are just taken from Phoenix. Just very simple, uh, straight angled snaps also respecting the zoning against the small end of the canal here so we can do some really nice detailing which we'll have a look at next and then also just widened out a few of the nodes uh, where they meet at appropriate intersections left a couple of the traffic lights in as people come off the major road into the suburb and then also a little bit of node controller and some dedicated turning lanes off the main tram road into the suburb so really basic stuff and again it's just more uh, residential frames that now begin to fill out at this mass Phoenix suburbia that we're working with in this area, okay? Wonderful. So let's talk about some rundown housing, shall we? This should be fun. Okay, so what I'd like to talk about next is the housing for this area, okay? How exactly are people going to live uh, in and around this spot? So there's not an enormous amount of residential demand in Ilos at the minute, but it kind of ebbs and flows, so it will eventually come in. We're going to use Find It, and we're going to search for college, okay? And this is going to bring up um, all of our university city uh, content creator assets, of course, which are uh, a firm favourite on the channel at this point. Okay, we all love and know these. And I'd like to start aligning them with their backs to the canal. Right, we're going to place in a few of these. Let's just keep mixing and matching the asset. There's a couple of different sort of variants of them. Different depths and sizes as well. But it's all kind of under the same general aesthetic, isn't it? I definitely want to avoid the ones with swimming pools in them. And that's not the aesthetic that we're after today. That one's a little bit more appropriate, isn't it? Let's slide it over. All right. Very nice, isn't it? Very cool. Then we've got a bit of classic uh, chain link fencing, which we're all so fond of at this point. 
used it many times in ours before. Uh, we're going to put it on a linear fence fill. And then we're going to come on uh, through this side here. We're also going to turn on uh, prop line tool anarchy. And then we're going to bring this through. And then we're just going to line it up with the back of the houses. And then indeed down the side. So we'll sort of work on one block of this together. And then we can also expand the idea during our detail time lapse today as well. Let's go ahead and place in a few more of the college assets. Again, the ones of the workshop will work uh, equally as nicely for these. If you have perhaps a chosen uh, palette or theme that you're fond of, then go for those. There we go. Let's go ahead and bring these into position a little bit. Huge number of these. I really think that a lot of the uh, vanilla houses, well, not all of them, but there's kind of, just don't really fit the theme, right? Probably get away with a couple of them, maybe like these ones here. But otherwise, University City is kind of tailor-made for this, isn't it? A little chain link fence alongside the back of our canal now here too. And then what I'd like to do is actually come back into uh, those canal networks and we're going to upgrade a single section of this so it looks like we do have... Uh, this is just one solid section, isn't it? So... Why don't we upgrade this into detail one, which gives us some detailing opportunities here. Now, again, we can do a little bit more sort of prop detailing around this side. But what I would like to bring in now is some of the uh, scuff decals that we looked at earlier. So we're going to grab ourselves one of the uh, more stains one. Okay, you can just spread it place a few of these around. Kind of rotate that angle each time as well. And that's really going to mark up the concrete for us, okay? Give it a much sort of dirtier vibe. And of course, we're a huge fan of our rural power lines in Ilos as well. And I think what I'd like to happen here is a little bit of collision off. If we can find one that we're a fan of, maybe just this simple one is more the aesthetic we're after. So we'll link through uh, a power cable as well. Although... Let's actually undo that. We want collision off, don't we, for this? I always get confused with the collision as to which one actually, or which option I need ticked. There we go. Okay. So they're actually a little bit higher, aren't they? Let's see if we can uh, avoid that altogether. Yeah, they're raising up by the canal. That's okay, though. So using Move It to select nodes, segments, and buildings, I'm just going to drag this power line into position. Probably about here. That's going to be good for me. Then let's dive into the wonderful world of uh, bushes and grasses, of course, things that we love uh, detailing with in Ilos, things like this one. Okay, let's get lots of little sort of grasses around the back here, poking through the fencing. Perhaps go for a touch of longer grass if we like, okay. Really quite run down here, you know, not particularly nice places to live. You also imagine as well, I mean, ignoring the fact that this is actually sewage, but if this is just kind of stagnant water or flood water, you'd imagine that it kind of you know, turns a little bit manky in the intense desert heat, right? Let's then come in and grab a couple of uh, content creator palms. Yes, yeah, you will have power eventually. Don't worry. We'll get it for you. And then I don't think uh, a couple of California shorties are going to be out of the question either. We can piece these together over this way. There we go. A bit more over this side. And there and there. And then before we know it, what a wonderful different aesthetic of a suburb that is, right? And how much of a great difference are these canals making? Uh, it really highlights the problem in the vanilla game with the lack of variation in canal. Just massive. <laughs> huge. Huge lover of this. So, of course, we'll continue to expand these out across the rest of the canal network. Um, it's really only the backs of the houses that sit against the network that need this heavily detailing. Um, the rest of the frame can be zoned in, and we'll do some more things out here today as well. Uh, especially with King Leno's Other Side of Town collection, uh, which we're already playing with, which is a lot of these commercial assets. Uh, which we actually had someone ask to fly by, uh, fly by the old town last episode, so we'll make a little stop by while we talk about this. It's been a while since we've been here, right? Love all the scuff decals around here. Yes, please, to get a lot of this sort of stuff in uh, the suburb today as well. Yeah, but these sorts of assets, okay, much more older commercial. You know, there's been no new kind of mall or commercial developments out in this suburb very much these kind of older looking buildings so we'll use some of those in this suburb today as well it should be quite fun
Okay guys, so during our detailed time lapse, OBS decided to stop recording, so we have missed a bunch of stuff which we will run through before we have a look at Main Street now. So we've developed a little commercial high street with some of our workshop park assets, just a baseball field next to a high school, pretty standard stuff. I brought in a little bit of sort of rougher kind of residential detailing with a couple of basketball courts and a couple of little benches that have been shifted off that angle, you know, they've kind of been thrown about and whatnot. And uh, a little bit of trash by the bin, really appreciate that, I think that's quite cute. On further down the main street, we now have a gas station. Uh, the careful placement of some KFC, which is always appreciated, right? And then a little bit of a strip mall, again, using some of our Rico uh, commercial assets that we've seen before. Alongside a skate park with a couple of our billboards that we've been using. And then also a strip club over here as well. Uh, the Pony with a little kind of industrial fence alleyway, uh, which works really nicely at night time. Uh, just as a cut through for people, and it is actually getting some use too, which is nice. And then a little bit of car parking around the back, and then the inclusion of an intercity bus station as well, just to bring some public transport into the area. And we'll also bring a bus line down here as well during our Main Street building in a second. And then we've also dropped in one of Avania's recycling assets again, just as a little bit of service collection over this side of the city. And then the suburb has carried on uh, being zoned out. And I think here with these small canals, eventually once the water uh, makes it down this far, this is probably my new favourite area of Ilos. This is essentially like rural in the city detailing and I absolutely love it. <laughs> it is so good. Little sort of small canals here in the middle of the suburb with chain link fence and some overgrowth and of course our favourite rural power lines. Uh, this is just such a nice, exactly the vibe I wanted to generate you know and uh, these assets have helped enormously. I have also switched out uh, the main canal uh, to the 36 meter version. Was it this is the 42? I think this is the 32. Well, this is 36 and this is 42. Either way, as we move past the bridge, the canal widens out. Also dropped in some chain link fencing alongside it with some of the dirty puddle decals and a little bit of the paint as well. And of course, we'll carry on bringing in some of this detailing uh, through the rest of the canal network during today's uh, main detailing time lapse and also uh, tidy up a couple of inconsistencies that I've generated. Uh, these networks aren't perfect. I did message the mod maker or the asset maker, Sully. Um, he's not quite figured out the difficult beast that is water in city skylines yet. Uh, with these water drain pipes, I think in his screenshots, he actually uh, PO'd the pipe and then just used water decals uh, to generate the effect. So hopefully this will get fixed eventually. If anyone does know a way of working around this with Sully, um, please message him on Twitter. He is currently trying to find a fix for it. So go and uh, follow him on Twitter. However, what I'd like to do now is talk about the development on Main Street for this episode. Uh, let's add in a train station, some trams up here as well. And then also let's do some nice new finagleable office shapes uh, as we approach into downtown Ilos. Let's work on Main Street now. So first of all, with Main Street, I'd like to discuss the possibility of some new uh, finagleable shapes. So I'm going to grab a couple of these. I think they're level fives, right? Yes, level fives at high density residential towers. And again, we're looking at sort of shapes and designs of the towers that are actually sat uh, on Main Street in Phoenix to uh, generate these pops of height that do appear occasionally. So, so let's use control and move it and just align these to the very corner, okay? And I think this is going to give us a really nice tower here, okay? Just a couple of high density residential blocks, so obviously going to satisfy uh, some high density demand as well. But how about that from this angle, right? Really starting to see almost like these glass ivory towers looking down over the poorer part of town now. This whole vibe is really coming together just so nicely. So I'm super happy with that one. That's a nice new uh, sort of finagleable shape, isn't it? Really, really enjoyed that. Uh, there's a few more I want to explore today as well. Let's come back into the world of IT cluster. And I'm going to grab uh, three of these numbers and then also three of these as well. And again, we're going to use Move It. And it's just, you know, isn't Move It just a, a beautiful mod with great character? Just the ability to piece together little creations like this with the vanilla assets, it's uh, it's a newfound joy in the game for me, I think, at least. Okay, so we're going to have that one on an angle as well. And then we're also going to do the same here too. So I'm just holding Alt whilst rotating uh, the asset. And then that just allows it to make sure that it stays on the same spin axis as the one next to it. And then I want to align these so we get a really cool shape building um, when we uh, fuse this one together. Uh, really, really cool. So we'll place it in probably about here. And just look at the little layers of depth that you get on this asset now, right? With like, the curvy roofs and the all different shaped glasses. 
just so cool. <laughs> so cool. And I think that's going to be a nice collection of towers for Main Street, at least on this side, uh, within this block for this part of the city today. So I'm super happy with that. I think we're going to uh, keep that in for the most part. But again, looking back over Main Street in Phoenix for what we want to do today, um, there is actually almost like a little sort of plaza design um, within this space here. So I want to see if we can use some of the uh, part life paths as roads. So let's go for no road guideline snap here. And then we'll just place out a couple little holding branches. Now we do have the little sunken plaza, which would work quite nicely here, I think. Yes, there we go. Let's position that into the middle with move it. There we go. And then we'll grab our part life path as roads again. And I think now we can just come off of everything but an angle snap and then just manually uh, draw these around the back of the plaza. And of course, we'll get lots of palm planters in today as well, because there is actually um, a significant amount of grass actually knocking around near here in Phoenix, so we can uh, do a little bit of that with the planters. So let's align the IT cluster buildings on the corner. Uh, likewise with these as well, these will come over now. There's also a lot of multi-story car parking, as always, fused into the side of these buildings in Phoenix, so again, something that we can bring in. And I think I'm feeling the same asset we fused together a couple of episodes ago, uh, that level 5 uh, vanilla office building, if we can find it. Yes, this one here. So again, we'll grab it and then spin it around into position. Use a little bit of control so we get those precise movements on the side. And it does look like one of these once resetting. I think we okay there. Yeah, I think that'd be quite nice, won't it? So just got a little plaza out front. Then of course we can feed off uh, some new road networks here and we'll probably just go i imagine with our regular uh, multi-story unit car parks in the parking tab these ones at the back yeah so we could again squeeze some on let's remove this chain link fencing that's against the road now and then we'll come into one of our american roads let's go for one of these plain ones and again we're gonna see if we can bring it out without too much pain that's quite a lot of pain. We'll have to deal with that in a second. Uh, okay, and then we'll just have this here. We can turn it into perhaps a cul-de-sac road. Uh, before that, though, we do just want to grab each of the nodes that are here, and then we'll set them to the same height as the nodes on Main Street. That should allow them to settle in a little bit easier. Come ahead and grab our multi-story units. We'll grab two for right now, but we are actually going to spin them around because we want them uh, on the back end of it. Just enough road bending with the road tools as well. And then let's just bring that into the back of the car parks over there. Again, it's going to want a touch of uh, finagling, isn't it? Let's set them to the same height here. And there we go. That's going to be grand. Okay, so there's basically just massive blocks of this behind all these towers in Phoenix. So there's not too much more to it apart from just sliding them in and making them fit against the canal. And again, let's check this from the mile grid. Of course, because this is such an important viewpoint for, you know, how these little pops of height appear all the way down this main street into the main skyline over there. I think I'm really happy with that, right? They really stand out. They're tall enough. There's, you can't really tell that we've used two assets that are in the main skyline themselves because it all just sort of blends together once it's all in, right? So I'm super happy with that. Really, really enjoyed it. So we've also got a train line here as well. Um, it would be rude to not introduce trains into the build. Uh, but we can also pair them with trams and possibly buses too. So let's go ahead and grab uh, a two-lane uh, tr road with tram tracks, okay? And let's bring this out initially by 18, I think. It's going to be a good shout. Let's also come onto a road length snap too. Yeah, let's go for like 18 there. And then we'll align this with the road guideline of the main road. There we go, that's another 18 units, isn't it? And then we'll do the same here again. We'll come out from this side by 18 units. And then that can connect in. And I think, of course, the obvious choice here is a content creator station. Um, probably the ground bypass, because this one uh, has a lot of glass on it, which is going to work quite nicely with the vibe that we have in Main Street. So this line here is passenger line. This actually feeds uh, all the way over to the other side of the Margrid about there yeah it feeds into the training sta uh, stations over there where it also meets with intercity 
So just more examples of really nice public transport networks coming together now in ILS. That's always appreciated, right? Cool. So let's go ahead and get the trams. We're going to grab our tram line here. Oh, there we go. So yes, the tram line can now carry on flowing up Main Street. You can stop directly outside of the station. What we will eventually do is remove this section uh, of tram road into something probably with trees uh, because the trams can now come out off onto the station and we'll separate that into something else. So let's add another stop there. Trams can now complete their loop. We will also add their stops back in that we removed. Wonderful. There we go. You can also stop here as well. And then I'd also like a bus line coming up Main Street too. So let's start this almost like a little kind of Main Street bus line, right? That just shuttles up and down Main Street all day. I think that's going to be quite a good idea. So we'll start a bus stop over this side near the Lauren J Park. It can come up through the suburbs. It can converge again with the tram line. Uh, and then again here, do we want to put it in this way? No, we'll pop it on the main road. And then it can come into the suburb kind of temporarily for a little bit. Yeah, come back through this way. Stop on the main road. And then again, just mirror the stops now as it heads back down Main Street. And of course, as Main Street continues to grow, as will this bus line, it will just keep going up and down. So we should be okay eventually. We're having some severe education issues in the city at the minute. We desperately need uh, some significant elementary school developments, I think. And um, let's have a little look at our education tab. Yes, uh, elementary is in the red. So we'll definitely do elementary in the suburb today. Uh, high school is good and university should be good as well. Yeah, so it's just elementary school education we're lacking on. So we'll definitely drop in a couple of little elementary school assets around here today. Probably doing our detail and time lapse, just a little school part design things we've covered before, right? Okay. This isn't too bad for right now, is it? I think I'm generally on board with this sort of idea. However, again, glancing back to our inspiration in Phoenix, we're also seeing a ton of uh, car parking in this area. So that's what we're going to do. Let's come off of the road guideline with a service road. And we'll just bring this down here for right now. And then let's grab ourselves the 22 meter lot. Let's make that a touch shorter. Probably to about there. Is that okay? That should be good. And then I think we'll just fill this space with car parking. I'm aware there's car parking outside the station as well, but you know, this is Phoenix after all. There is an insane amount of car parking. And then just to help kind of bring in those higher density, more inner city vibes, a healthy a dose of service painter across the new car park spaces within the train station. And tram convergence spot uh, is going to be most welcome indeed, I think, isn't it? And probably all of this will be service painted as well. And then we'll bring in those little sort of accents of grass that we've seen uh, in Phoenix with planters and whatnot. Uh, during our detail time lapse. But people are waiting for the tram, that's great news. So again, I'm still getting the weird issue with the content creator stations in a modded city skyline save and um, where I don't get the car parks in them, I do have to manually place them. You guys did say that you haven't experienced this, so looks like it's just me <laughs> for some reason, but that's okay. All right? It does work once you place them in. Okay, but what a wonderful little sort of addition this is into the skyline in the main city, right? Super important looking Main Street assets. I'm a huge fan of this asset here now with its wavy bumps and curves on it. Very kind of modern architecture. And this is what we'll continue to do rather than just subscribe to new assets off of the workshop. Let's continue to play and finagle with their vanilla towers and just see you know, what shapes and designs that we can come up with. I think we should have quite a nice time doing this as we continue to grow Main Street out, right? There we go. Some people starting to move around now. It's all coming together slowly, isn't it? I also forgot I didn't recap my favourite bit of detailing. How nice is this? <laughs> so good. So I thought maybe we could do this as like sort of like an over, like maybe try to sort of beautify this area, add in a little bit of sort of open, nice green landscaped space, but it's just been trashed and not maintained anymore. It's now just been overgrown and just sort of not that nice, right? I think it works really nicely in this little sort of roundabout shape that's sit next to all these residentials here. Huge fan of it. However, that does feel like a good place for a detail and time lapse. And we just need to wait for residential demand to continually spike, which again, it has done. Uh, so we can bring in, yet again, a bit more zoning in this area. Carry on filling out all the uh, suburban space and frames that we have left available as this suburb grows out. Also into these spaces over here as well. Uh, lots more of our sort of overgrown, rural, less maintained vibes that are happening through here. 
that lots of these stained decals across all of the concrete uh, to continually develop uh, the kind of run down area okay same with the sort of trash that's out the back this side and then what i also did as well is kind of brought in a little kind of maybe like an abandoned lot i think i'm going to do a few of these uh, with the no trespassing signs because uh, there is actually quite a lot of these in phoenix just open sort of desert landscape that doesn't really do anything um, you imagine it's there to be developed. So we've got some no trespassing signs, some mattresses, boxes, and just general crap that's been left here uh, with a sort of a battered old truck as well. And yeah, just generally kind of bring, keep on uh, bringing the vibes in, decorate the entire uh, new LA River Network packs that we're doing, perhaps bring in some new water pipes as well, um, if we can get them to work properly uh, with this sort of stuff. But we can mostly hide it for when we need to with rocks and detail and whatnot. And of course it links down uh, into the main canal. So you can see how the main canals flow now. And um, once they're a lot wider, they're a lot more shallow, which is exactly what I wanted to happen. So really happy with these. But either way, let's detail uh, the rough and ready Ilo suburb. And then the new additions on Main Street as well. And then we'll be right back.
Hey guys, so let's have a detailing review, shall we? Yeah, so around in and around Main Street, we've carried on bringing Surface Painter uh, and indeed constantly referring back to even the street view in Google Earth to see how these streets are lined in Phoenix, its grass and its palms. Uh, and this has turned out really nicely, right? What a wonderful combination of different sort of wiggled assets using Move It just to position them in. I uh, brought in some more Green Cities towers over here as well, alongside some high density, which we looked at. And, uh, you know, this theme is going to continue all the way down Main Street, you know, for those that are familiar with Phoenix. And indeed, what we looked at in Google Earth earlier, um, this should be a really cool street to slowly construct uh, over time as the build grows out this way. Oh, the Main Street is nice and busy now. People jumping on the Metro, which is the university line, which comes out of the uh, Tuxen University over there. Uh, so that's now picking people up here too. So again, more uh, public transport interconnectivity for everyone. Brought in some more sort of crappy, dilapidated, trash-ridden, non or well, no longer maintained sort of park areas. And the same thing with the planters over here as well that have just been left to overgrow. And, you know, the, the city council doesn't come out here anymore, either due to threats to their life or just general, they sort of, they don't really care about it. And it's just sort of lying on the outer downtown. Uh, really happy with how this particular vibe came off around the basketball courts and the benches. With all the little trash props. There's also a little strip mall set opposite here as well with some of the pawn shops that we've used before. And that little Bill and Vic's market as well, or Vic and Bill's market rather. Uh, some more abandoned and empty lots indeed with some uh, billboards inside them. Uh, again, you know, things that we see in Phoenix. And uh, we do see these sort of empty uh, lots that have just been uh, chain link fenced off and you would assume ready for development. I've added in some more uh, residential alongside the high school against the canal. And I have sort of found a way to get these to work. Um, so Sully intends for us to put the water drain pipes uh, in the detail sections here. However, I've just found that the game doesn't particularly like that. What I have done instead is actually moved the water drain pipe under the bridge in a regular section. And uh, this does seem to be letting it flow a little bit more sensibly. Uh, so that's something that can be factored in if it's something that you're struggling with. Then you can do that. And then it also uh, gently bleeds off down at uh, this canal over here as well. Uh, so just super, super happy with this general aesthetic for the area. Um, a huge shout out to Sully for creating these assets. They are just so Southwest American and uh, they've really fitted in nicely into the suburb. And now we have a network of them established. Uh, we can certainly do more things with these uh, as the builds around them uh, grow into whatever they're going to be, right? So really cool new canals now. We'll definitely start playing with these in Ilos. And you, know, you can see how much of a difference an undetailed version of these actually is compared to ones with um, all the decals on it. And especially then once partnered with decals and fencing, a little bit of a pathway just brings a canal to life, doesn't it? Absolutely amazing. So please go download these and, you know, give them a rating on the Steam Workshop. Absolutely amazing. Uh, some more Rico commercial, again, from the same pack, just to sit against the main street with a little bit of side parking and indeed some warehouses that are set to store uh, commercial zone goods because there will be a lot of commercial around here. So they're going to have quick access to deliveries over this side. Uh, some more plaza detailing with our classic sort of planter designs. There's also some of these opposite the train station, which has had some commercial uh, plopped in front of it now. And the train lines are also stopping here uh, on their way into the downtown. If there's one coming, doesn't look like there is, <laughs> so that's fine. But either way, the passenger trains are stopping here now alongside the trams and the buses. And then the suburb has just grown out now as the demand has come in. Um, I didn't want to plop every single asset. Um, because in my experience, that can really throw off the Rico balancing in the game. So I'd like to let some of the demand be satisfied just by zoning, of course, with one of our custom themes. And then we also detailed a little sort of scrapyard uh, next to the ready to roll here as well. And again, with just some trash car props, a little bit more trash around the back and just generally kind of crappy, horrible commercial vibes, right? And this just complements this main uh, node controlled corner uh, quite nicely, I think, doesn't it? I'm a huge fan of it. Uh, all the billboards and the signs and uh, chicken and waffles are back as well, which is uh, an acquired taste, isn't it? Chicken and waffles, can't say I've ever had that before. And I cannot describe how tremendously happy I am with the, you know, the big ivory glass corporate towers sat overlooking the poorer, more crime-ridden suburb. Um, that aesthetic has really, really paid off and will continue to pay off 
as we add towers into Main Street as it grows back down towards downtown and then indeed back out towards the mountains as well. However, guys, that is going to do it for today. Well, let's thank you all so much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, likes, comments, and shares below really do help me out. Equally as much, if you haven't enjoyed it, then please feel free to leave me a dislike as well. And if you'd like to help support the work, there are links down to Patreon, merchandise, and instant gaming below if you'd like to get something cute in return for your support. I am tremendously happy with how this area has turned out, and I hope you've enjoyed the theme. Uh, we've also named this area to Dylos as well, um, <laughs> which I thought was funny, but it might offend some people. But uh, yes, the area is called Dylos, um, of course, because people die here. So uh, it's pretty grim. It's very rough. It's not a nice place to live, but it is very much part of the city, and I'm super happy with it. It's filled out a nice big space for us along Main Street. And uh, yeah, please do hang around for the cinematics, of course. Uh, we'll have the big nighttime uh, backdrop here of, of the skyline, and it's just going to be, yeah, should be really nice. So, enjoy the cinematics, but otherwise, I will shut up, and I will leave it there. Let's thank you all so much for watching, and as always, enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs>